Welcome again Scorpio, Dedicia here with your monthly overview of the uh, horoscope. It's October 2017 and what I'm looking at here for you is this uh, <clears throat> and you're going to be happy to hear this, Jupiter which is really the good fortune planet, also the planet of finance for you in particular, having been in this very troublesome 12th house for the last year is later in the month going to shift. I'm going to show you that when we uh, animate the chart. But uh, we also see the Sun and Mercury in this position, which indicate the high expenses, the concerns you've had financially. And once this planet shifts, you are going to see a very, very uh, different arrangement in your finances. Mars and Venus in the 11th house of friendships and social activities also profit from your business are offset by these three planets. So there's more weight in this 12th house of expenses than there is in this 11th house of financial gain. Take a look at the movement of the planets and in particular I'm curious and wish you to look at the sudden and abrupt changes that take place around the 5th and 6th. Just there, you see the moon moving into this conjunction of Uranus. This has to do with your work and your health. And then, moving into the opposition of the Sun indicates... Let's just go back there a little, a little bit more. This is the sixth when we see the full moon taking place here. Twelfth house, sixth house. Sixth house is health, so some of you may not be keeping the best of health right now. It's nice to see this Jupiter here. Let me move this around. Oh, by the way, the full moon here has a lot to do with your co-workers, the place you work. And there's some powerful triangulation going on here. If you can see here, the north node in your tenth house giving you that strong desire. Saturn still inhibiting the income generally, but I'm going to show you here now how all of this stuff is going to give way to the transit of Jupiter here into your sun sign for the first time in 12 years. Yay. Just there. Bang. Love that. Right there. I can even give you the time. Look at that. October 11th. Jupiter will move into the sun sign of Scorpio. So for those of you born under the uh, sign of Scorpio. This is the beginning of a, a new one-year cycle, actually a 12-year cycle, but one year in your sun sign, so that's going to activate the solar position. Then after that, it's going to move into your second house. So these are all good favorable positions for those of you born under Scorpio and who've been wallowing a little bit in terms of how difficult finances, uh, relationships, and a lot of other stuff has been during this period. You're still not out of the woods here. You can see this 12th house is going to be activated again by these two planets, even though the, uh, the Sun and Mercury will move out of this area. There's a little bit of hot-headedness up here. Moon moves past this 10th house of career. When that happens, <coughs> it makes contact with the North Node. This can amplify your desires and bring with it some luck because this, the Moon for you rules your 9th house of good fortune. Uh, take a look down here, Venus moving to your 12th house. Most of you have been experiencing some spiritual insights during this period and possibly because for the very reason that you haven't been able to achieve the material success, you're sort of looking for a way to deal with that. Often the universe strips you down of those things that you've used as a crutch, either emotionally, mentally uh, and materially too, so that you can strip back to that fresher part of yourself, that creative spiritual aspect, and that's also shown by these planetary movements in the 12th house. A lot of people don't talk about the 12th house being that spiritual, but it, but it is very spiritual. And look at this cluster of planets here. Here we see around the 20th, 21st, just there, the new moon taking place, 19, 20, 21. Again, in that 12th house, because that's exactly where the sun is. Let's just try to get that sorted out. There it is. Just about there on the 20th. 
So this shows a whole new attitude to the way you engage in your spiritual activities. Now that's if you're a spiritual person. This 12th house, for those of you that don't have any belief in that stuff, that's fine. I suspect most of you do if you're following astrology. But uh, this is also the house of charity. Uh, expenses, spirituality, charity, and Hindu astrologers call this sukha, sukha or bed pleasures. So this, along with this eighth house, the eighth, the fourth, and the twelfth, four, eight, twelve, uh, these two particularly, the spiritual houses, but strangely they have to do with the sexual nature. The new moon taking place here is a new approach to your spirituality and possibly some journeys that will take place throughout October um, especially after that full moon, which took place around the 6th, or will take place around the 6th. Um, nice aspects here with Moon, Mercury, Jupiter. This is instilling in you a whole lot more confidence that you may not have had for a while. And that has a direct impact upon this seventh house, which is your relationships at this time. Jupiter and Mercury are great for advertising yourself. So if you're in any sort of business, this is a great time to do it. Uh, just go back a little bit there actually leading up to that before Mercury actually hits uh, Jupiter around this time here you can see just around the 17th 18th bang 19th it hits it and uh, then passes away there and then you've got also the transit of the Sun around the 23rd 24th here into the uh, Sun sign of Scorpio which is what we call the solar return for you and again this is revitalizing especially with its connection to Jupiter here not just lucky in terms of your money and your relationships but health wise those of you that have had some niggling problems can look forward to uh, an improved condition physically a lot more energy and drive and really that's my uh, spin on it for the month I hope you'll join me again next month but hopefully not uh, before sort of visiting us at astrology.com.au subscribing here if you wouldn't mind that'd be great and until next month have a safe one bye bye now